I love dance class nights. Hello, hello. We're at the waterfront today here in Morgantown. Haley has dance class up here. And so when I bring her up here, I have oh, a couple hours to kill. So figured there's a nice walking trail. Haven't been on here in but once, and that was many, many years ago. So figured we'd come and take some pictures, bring you guys along with you. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, so, apologize if there's road noise, but uh, we're right next to Four Lane coming into downtown Morgantown. Um, I figured we'd pick this spot because it's a nice little trail that uh, goes along the river. Uh, surely, there's something we can take a picture of. Um, I'm gonna start and just walking around this little area near where I parked and we're just gonna take some warm up shots. I'm um, looking at some flowers and stuff now. There's, there's some puddles which might lead to some good reflections. So just gonna uh, walk along and kinda talk you through my process. I'm not gonna have the camera rolling the whole time, but maybe when I find a shot, I'll stop and set up and explain what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around and give you kind of a view of where I'm at. I'm gonna start probably with the uh, dam right here because there's a good bit of water coming out of it. It looks pretty cool. So we'll be in this area. I'm gonna take some warm up shots and we'll see. Wouldn't wanna jump in that water. Okay, so coming up on this hotel here, kind of liking the curves and the straight lines of that building, so might try to use some of this grassy bush stuff as like a foreground element. So we'll see, it, it might turn out to be crap, but we'll... Uh, play around with some compositions and see if I can get anything cool. Okay, so I'm looking at vertical orientation. I'm going to get low to the ground. This is where this little flippy screen comes in handy to go and see. So I'm going to use this line here. I don't even know if you can see it. Kind of as a leading line to take you into the building, and then this grass should be out of focus a little bit um, for a foreground interest, and we'll have the skies as a background. With it's kind of interesting. There's some blue starting to show through and all that. So we'll see what we can get. So the settings. F4, ISO is 400, which I'm going to knock down to 200. ISO is now 200. My shutter speed is going to be 1 800th of a second. So we'll see. We can do that. Pull back to about 50 millimeters.
actually be, I think horizontal might actually be a better. Horizontal is probably better. All right, on to the next place. and reflections are awesome we're gonna see what we can get by the way the light is really really nice right now so let's we'll see if we can take advantage things I wanted to mention about taking pictures in public um, some of the rules um, now I'm not a lawyer so none of this should be considered legal advice but I do know a thing or two about laws um, as far as it goes with taking pictures in public if you are in a public space and you're taking pictures of public things you're good to go most generally um, even like with street photography. Uh, street photography is basically a documentation of people going about their everyday lives. Um, you see a lot of, you know, street photographers take shots of people walking through crosswalks or walking to and from work, and it's mainly in urban areas. Um, and that, the way they look at that is, you know, if you were out in a public area, um, you're fair game to be photographed. That being said, don't be a creep. You know, don't go and lurk behind bushes and sneak take pictures of people. Don't shove a camera in anybody's face. You know, use some common sense and you should be all right. Because you know, some people do get mad if you take their pictures, and you know, it's probably best to appease them and say, okay, I'm sorry, and delete the picture if they ask you to, because nothing's worth you know getting punched in the face for a picture and especially you know if you're carrying around thousands of dollars of camera equipment you know you don't want to get that all broken up in a fight so use your head when you're out taking pictures and you should be fine So all in all, it wasn't a horrible time. I had a good time taking pictures. As far as, you know, just cool things, I think I got a few shots, but it's really not a great street photography or landscape or anything. There's a few good spots. What it is a great spot is for portrait photography. All kinds of awesome locations, so. If you, uh, if you want to book for a portrait session and you're in the Morgantown area or hell if you want to drive up here, I got some spots. Other than that, they're really, I guess I got some okay shots. One shot I'm really excited about is, uh, you know, I said not to creep on people for street photography, but there was. 
was an older couple. I was behind them and they were walking and holding hands, hand in hand, and they were walking across this bridge and it was arched by uh, some, it was an arch, arch bridge on this trail and there was, uh, at the end of it was uh, some kind of tree with purple flowers. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that shot. I think it's gonna be uh, probably my best shot of the night. So I'm on the way back to the car. It's time to go pick up my daughter and we'll uh, put everything together and see how it all turns out. 